welcome back to the Book Bandal Shop. Um, today we are going to build one of these journal inserts. Um, I had made one of these um, and posted it on, I believe it was Instagram, and was um, requested to do a tutorial on this. So that's what we're going to build today. It flips out and has pockets. So, and then it also has some paper there on the inside and ties up closed with a ribbon. And these are good for kind of that wow factor inside your, your journal, you know, kind of a centerpiece. So this is in the center signature of my journal and then it is in the center of the, the signature. So center of the signature in the center of the book. So that's what we're going to build today. All you need is just a regular old file folder, some paper that you want to put on the inside, uh, maybe some decorative paper to um, uh, make it colorful, and some ribbons or something to close it up with, maybe a little distress ink. So super easy. So the first thing we want to do is this is going to, um, we're going to keep this fold right here, and this is going to go right into your journal. So you need to know the height of your signatures. In this instance, mine were eight and a half because I was using eight and a half and 11 uh, by 11 sheets of paper folded in half for my signatures. So eight and a half is gonna be our height. So we will want to score this at eight and a half. And I'm using my bone folder because I forgot to bring my little embossing tool thing I like to use out here with me. I'm not in my normal crafting area. Okay, so I've scored that on eight and a half. That will be what folds up to make our pockets. Okay, the next thing we want to do is, um, let me think about this for a minute. Oh yeah, we fold this one in. Let me check, let me double check real quick. <laughs> That one. This one gets folded in first all the way to the center seam. Okay. Well, actually, just back off, you know, just a hair. Um, maybe like an eighth of an inch back off, just a hair. That way, um, when it folds up, it doesn't, it doesn't want to bind or get in a bind. So I'm just basically folding that in half. Now, this one, if I fold it in half um, all the way to the line, it won't match up. Um, in fact, I did that in my tutorial earlier because I forgot, and so I folded both of them to the center line, and when you do that, they don't match up. I don't know what I was thinking earlier. So do this one first, the one that has the tab. Fold it all the way to the center, or we'll give yourself just a little bit of ease, okay? And then when it's folded, you'll know where to mark this one. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, so there's our file folder. Fold in the tab and then fold it back on its normal crease. And then you can um, mark where you need to fold this side in. And you'll see that it doesn't go all the way. So yeah, I actually got about six minutes into, four to six minutes in the video and then realized that, uh, oh, I did that wrong. <laughs> kind of hard to teach somebody how to do something right when you do it wrong. Okay. All right. So then when it's all folded, it's folded into fourths essentially. Okay. Now we need to fold up the bottom where the pockets are going to be. already scored that. Remember that was our eight and a half line. Okay. And then on this one, I'll show you where the pockets were real quick. This one, remember I had pockets on the outside here. And the very outside was just plain paper. Then I had these pockets here. Then when it flipped out, I had pockets here and here. And these I did with long, long panel pockets. So that's how we're going to do this one. So to do that, we're going to cut this line here 
and this line here. Oops, I am so sorry. Okay. And then just cutting along that fold line up to up to our eight and a half inch mark. Okay, and then this one will get folded to the other side. And this one gets folded to the other side. Okay, and then when we fold this, you'll see how it kind of crumples. So the best way to get rid of that is to go ahead and cut this as well. And what I do is I like to cut, this is the original fold in the folder, I like to cut just a hair on one side and a hair on the other side and it gives yourself a little bit of an ease for that folder to fold without getting bunched up. I'm going to flip it over. It's easier to, to see because I'm right-handed. So I'm just kind of taking out that little tiny sliver, just a bit on each side of that fold. Okay, flip it back around the way we had it. Okay, so that's our inside pockets right here. And then these fold backwards, this folds backwards, okay? So then this folds in, and here's our pockets, and then it folds again, okay? So that, that's how the main um, construction goes, okay? So what you will want to do now is ink up all of the edges, okay? Get all of those inked up. Do not glue these flaps shut because it's easier when you're putting your decorative papers on here to put those on first and then glue your pockets on. Otherwise, you're trying to hide the paper behind it. So don't, don't glue your flaps. None of your flaps yet. Leave all of them. Um, just go ahead and ink around everything. Okay, so get that done. The next thing you will want to do also is pick out your paper that you want on the inside. So in this journal, or in this insert, I had used some, some notebook paper that was tea dyed. Okay, I don't have any more of that, so I'm going to use this grungy old coffee paper. Okay, so um, let me see how many papers I used. I had one, two, three, four sheets of paper was what I put in it. You don't want to put a lot in, you want too bulky. So one, two, three, four. And this is just really grungy old paper. I actually grabbed the amount I needed. Okay, so it needs to be the same height as maybe a little bit shorter than your file folder. So see how I'm a little bit too long? So I'm going to I'm gonna maybe make a, that much on the top space and that again on the bottom. So I'm going to trim my paper down just a little bit. I'm just trimming off a hair because... Uh, I made my file folder around eight and a half. It might be slightly less than that um, by the time you get unfolding it. So, and I, I want my papers to be slightly smaller than that. Okay, let's check them. Yeah, that'll work. We've got a little bit of gap on the top and the bottom. Okay, now, when I fold them in half for my signature, some really grungy paper. I'm not too worried about whether or not it's all even over there. I'm going to trim all that off anyway. Okay. So, see how it hangs past my, my file folder? Okay, so that's the edge of my file folder. And I want to go just a hair inside. So, I think I'm going to cut it right about there. So that was the edge of my file folder, and I'm just going to come in just a little bit. Okay, and that should fit in there just great. Yes, it does. Okay. All right, so that's that. So what you'll want to do now ink up all the edges like we talked about. Don't glue the flat flaps, okay? And then if you are putting this into the center of your journal, 
just put it into the center of all your pages for your signature. So you would find your center of your signature and you would stick it in there and you would sew this in just like you would um, your normal signatures. So that's the center of your booklet. Put it in the center of your signature. Sew it in just like you normally would when you're doing um, your sewing in of your signatures. Okay, and we'll be right back after we get all this inked up. Okay, everything is all inked up now. See, we've done all the edges, inked up all the flaps, and yes, I've changed my paper. Um, and then it is sewn right into my book, right into the center signature of my book. Okay, sewn right in. I'll show you. see my threads okay but it's just sewn right in like normal okay now everything's all inked up and notice I did not glue the flaps so the first thing I want to do is get out whatever it is I'm using to tie up my my little booklet here in this instance I'm going to use some sorry silk so I'm just going to kind of eyeball what I think I need and I need to cut two of those Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and glue that on, and my paper, my decorative paper that I'm going to put over the top is going to hide that. So I'm just going to put a spot of glue. I do not want to run the glue all the way to the edge because it will soak through your sari silk, and you don't want that to show. Okay, so your paper will go all the way to edge and it'll hold it down, but we don't need our glue to go all the way. Okay. All right, so we've, we've glued our sorry silk on. We need the other one on the other side now. paper so I'm gonna stick a, a sheet of stick a sheet of paper there I don't want it to accidentally stick on something like that almost tried to do okay now I've got some decorative paper that I want to put here and this is a the Artie Mays beach kit and this is some of the lined paper and I thought it'd be great just to have um, not take this up with a lot of printed um, paper but but lined so that it's useful so I need to take off this white margin, however. I'm going to do that really quick off camera. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've cut my margins off on my paper. And after doing that, I pretty much fit perfectly just as I needed to on the height. So I'm just going to mark it for the width. And it's, it's just basically like scrapbooking back when we would map things. Just to, You just want to do everything just a hair smaller so that way you've, uh, you've got a little bit of the edge showing. Okay, and then I'm just going to do the same thing on the back side. Okay, so I've got my front panel and my back panel. So you'll want to cut those, ink around the edges, and then we'll glue them on. Okay? Okay, so I've inked around the edges of this piece. Now I'm going to glue it on right over the top of my um, ribbon. So that will help keep my ribbon closure secure. I meant to glue this off camera so you wouldn't have to watch me do that, sorry. Almost done. Try not to do much inking on camera or gluing. It's boring to watch, sorry. Okay. And glue that right down on the panel, right over the top of our ribbon. Okay, that 
keeps it nice and secure. I'm just kind of going around the edges, making sure I've got it. And then on the other one I had made earlier, just to give it a little bit of, of something, you know, just a little, little bit to, to pop, I had stamped it. So there we go. That looks great. So I'm not going to do the back one on camera because you get the idea on that. So let's move on to the inside. Now on the inside, I'll just show you a few things. I'm, I don't think we necessarily need to do these on camera. You get the idea. Um, on the inside, um, your flaps are not glued down yet. So put your background paper on first on this panel and this panel. Okay, then glue your flaps on. Let's see if I can. No, I don't think I can keep both books in at the same time. But so put put your background paper on here and here, and then pull these flaps up and go ahead and glue around this side and this side. Okay, and you're going to glue here and here and that will create a pocket. Now it's up to you whether or not you want to cut a, a little finger hole and to do that just use your circle punch and cut out a half circle. Okay. And also the thing to get the double pocket, see I left mine straight across on my flap. But then when I cut this paper for this I made sure to use cardstock so that it was heavy duty. And then I and then I cut the finger tab there. And when you glue that on, just glue the side, the bottom, and the side, and you've got another pocket. See, you made a double pocket. Or you can just stick your paper on there as, as decoration and not worry about having another pocket. Okay, This one was created by printing on cardstock, so it was heavy duty. Okay, I cut the finger hole with the half circle, glue here, here, and here, and then you have a pocket. Same thing with the front, put your background paper on, pull the flap up, glue, glue, decorative paper. If you want an extra pocket here, don't glue the top, just do the sides and the bottom. Okay, put whatever cards you want in there. This one I actually, I did some stamping on the tab. You can do that too if you want to. Um, this one just like the back one, background first, fold it up, glue, glue, paper. If you want a double pocket, cut the finger tab and only glue the three sides. So see, it's super, super easy. And there's the other, the other flap there. Okay, super, super easy, like I said. So basically, that's it. That's the gist of it. Um, hope you give it a try. Let me know if you do. Let me know if you have any troubles. I'll be glad to answer your questions. You can find me here on YouTube, The Book Vandal Shop. You can find me on Instagram and Etsy. Also, The Book Vandal Shop, all one word. Happy crafting. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.